everyone, hope you are well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. <coughs> Lenny is currently waiting for his breakfast. Today I thought I would do a what Lenny eats in a day kind of video. So I'm just sorting his breakfast out now. Lenny is nine and a half months. He will be 10 months on the 8th of April. No, it's April now. He'll be 10 months on the 8th of May. I've still got a terrible baby brain. I'm gonna use that excuse for the rest of my life, I think. So I'm just doing his breakfast. He's getting a little bit impatient. So this morning he's just having one week of it and he has this warmed up. I'll uh, pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds and that is enough. So I'm just going to grab some milk now. Lenny has got seven teeth now. He's got three top ones. No, he hasn't. You can tell it's early, can't you? He has got three bottom ones and he has got four top ones. The four top ones seem to come through all at once, which is amazing. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop his Weetabix in the microwave. So I've just got a splash of milk in there as well. So he's doing pretty well with weaning at the moment. Um, he's obviously with his teeth coming through. It's in the microwave, baby. It's coming. It's coming. With his teeth coming through, he is managing really well to chew things. Um, so I best get a move on because he's clearly getting very impatient. I'm going to squash some raspberries into his Weetabix as well. And I've just got one strawberry that I'm going to cut up for him just so he can have that to eat as well, which I think I will give to him while the Weetabix is cooling. I'm just going to pop his bib on. We use the Bibadoo bibs, which are the coverall ones. I've got a short sleeve one and I've got a long sleeve one, which is currently on the line drying. Absolutely fantastic bibs. They are amazing. They cover the high chair as well. So any spillages don't go on the high chair, get the high chair mucky. Or often I find if Lenny's just got a normal bib on, the spillages go down the side and they go onto his clothes. So this saves all of that problem. I've got a discount code as well, which I will leave all the information down in the description for you. And I best get a move on because he is not happy. Lenny is just eating his strawberries now while his weight a bit cool. We've got the Tommy Tippy spoons, which are heat sensitive. So when the food is too hot, they go orange. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to show you because it's not that hot. But the end bit when it's too hot go goes orange. However, I don't always trust it. I do just test it myself. So with food like this, I spoon feed Lenny. With anything solid, um, like he's eating the strawberries himself, he manages really well with that. Um, but if it's a spoon kind of food, he doesn't cope so well with a spoon. He's not sure what to do with it yet. We are practicing, um, but it's just a, a learning curve for him, which we will get there one day. So I'm run, he's nearly finished his strawberries now. Are they good? Are they good? I'm just going to give Lenny some water now. We've got two cups that we have for Lenny. This is... Is this your water? This is a Tommy Tippy one. The only issue with this is when you tip it upside down, the water comes out of the nozzle. So not so great when they chuck it around. Do you want this one? Don't I? Good lad. So Lenny does often chuck his cup when he's finished with it. He just chucks it. Um, and that Tommy Tippy one, if he does that, there's water everywhere and then we also have this one which is from Wilco's and it's is it going to focus like that on the end so it's one of the ones where they suck it and there's no spillages neither which is really good and it also comes with a cap it was from Wilco's and I'm sure it was £1.50 
and I would probably get these of the Tommy Tipper ones again. I actually think I should go get another one, actually. Yeah, I definitely recommend these ones from Wilco's if um, you're looking for a cup for your little one. It's great to take out with us as well because, like I said, it comes with a little cap. So there's no splinters, which is ideal. walk this morning and we're back a bit later than what I thought we would be and um, so dinner is a bit later than normal today so I'm just making something quick and easy he is having cheese and spinach eggy bread which I know he loves so I've just got one egg in a bowl which I'm just going to add some spinach to just whisking the egg up I'm going to add some spinach to it which is just finely chopped so it's not in big clumps for him to make life a bit easier and I'm also going to add a little bit of cheese as well and then I'm just going to fry it off in a little bit of butter for him. He's currently just eating one of these Ella's Kitchen cheese and apple melty sticks to put him on while I cook because like I said dinner is a bit later today than what it normally would be. A nice quick and easy dinner for him which I am sure he will appreciate anyway. Just putting the cheese in. That's Lenny's lunch all done. He's got his eggy bread there, which I've just cut into fingers for him. And then we've got two bits of avocado, which I have used the crinkle cutter for. Just adds a bit of texture to the avocado, so it's easier for them to get hold of. I got this off eBay. I will link it down below because it's it's brilliant. I, it can hold on to avocado much better when it's cut like that. Another tip is to put some breadcrumbs on it as well. Just gives it a bit of texture for them to hold on to. And then he's just got a bit of kiwi as well. So I think someone is ready for their dinner. left from Lenny's dinner I did have to take his plate off him because he decided to take it off the high chair and chuck it about so he had his dinner off his high chair and this is what's left is it all the avocado is it all of the kiwi just a little bit of eggy bread left which is what the babe has caught which is ideal which is why I love these babes they just save so much mess and um, but overall I think he's done really well with that lunch I've just fed Lenny again. Lenny is combi fed, so he has breastfeed during the day, probably about nine and about two, three-ish, and then during the night, and then he has a bottle of formula. We have Kendra Mill formula on a night before he goes to bed. So his feed just then was a breastfeed. And he is supposed to be napping, but he's wide awake, stood at the side of his cot. If you watch my last vlog, I mentioned about us having difficulty with Lenny's sleep at the moment. It's not so much him sleeping, it's him going to sleep. So getting him to settle in his cot and not stand up is, um, well, that's exactly how it is. He's currently sort of side of his cot. He's quiet and he's content. So I have grabbed myself a quick coffee while he is quiet and I'm going to have my coffee quickly and then I need to go... I need to go to Tesco's to get some hoi... I can't get my words out. I need to go to Tesco's to get some hoisin sauce for tea for tonight. So I'm going to drive the long way and hopefully, even if I just get 10, 20 minutes in the car, it's better than nothing and it'll put us on till bedtime um, because he's clearly having none of it right now. 
I think it's just the novelty of being able to stand up and he just he's so excited that he can stand up um I'm just trying to practice with him as much as I can during the day to try and wear that novelty off but yeah but once he is asleep he's asleep it's just getting him to sleep that is the hard part um like this morning when I fed him he fell asleep on the boob so that was absolutely fine just got to be very careful when I transfer him from me to the cot so I don't wake him because if I slightly wake him he is like a coiled spring and he's stood up at the side of his cot um but yeah this afternoon it has not gone great at all and he's not asleep at all he's wide awake standing at the side of his cot <laughs> So I'm going to have this coffee very quickly while he's still quiet and content in his bedroom. And then I'm going to go the long way to Tesco's, like I said. Um, oh, Some days things just don't go to plan. I did manage to get a little nap out of Lenny when we went to Tesco's. I drove the long way there. It was having none of it. So I drove the long way back. And literally, as I pulled up on the drive, it was fast asleep. I was like, oh, great. So I've been sat on the drive for about half an hour while he has a little snooze, he's, he's in his walker at the minute, was smiling at me. And yeah, it's about to make a start on tea. So tonight we are having beef and broccoli noodles, but the sauce for it isn't suitable for Lenny. Well, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's not suitable for Lenny. It's got hoisin sauce in it and it's also got soy sauce in it. So I'm not too sure on the salt, the sugar, and all the other bits and bobs inside these two sauces. So, I'm going to do Lenny the same because following the recipe, you put the sauce in last. So Lenny's gonna have all the same, but without the sauce. Um, and hopefully it'll still be nice and hopefully he will still enjoy it. I've just turned around, look. He's in his walker, but he's managed to get both his socks off. <laughs> you don't like wearing socks, do you? Unbelievable. So yeah, I'm gonna make a start on tea now and it's a new recipe, never tried it before, so hopefully it's really nice. And it's also got grated carrot in it. So it's got broccoli and grated carrot, garlic. Um, I'm just gonna to have to work my way through it and make like, see what is suitable for Lenny to have. Um, I will share the recipe that I found on, the, on my caption down below. So if anyone else fancies it, um, they can have a look as well. But yeah, I'm gonna get cracked on because we are running late as per. That's Lenny's tea all done. I haven't actually give him any beef because it's diced beef and I think it might be too tough and there isn't any really appropriate sizes to give him to suck on. Um, so he's just got his noodles and garlic, broccoli and carrots in there. But it looks all right and it's not as dry as what I thought it would be. So hopefully he likes it. And then he's also got an apple and cinnamon crumble as well for pudding. So that's his tea. And he's got his bottle there ready, cooling for bedtime. This is the sauce that's for our tea. So I'm just going to add that into ours now. Looks quite nice. So looking forward to having that. And then I'm just going to let this cool down for Lenny and he can have his. That recipe was absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for a new Chinese recipe to try. It was really nice. And I think Lenny enjoyed his too. I'll show you what's left. That's what's left. And there's a bit of noodles, a bit of noodle on his um, bib as well. He never eats broccoli. He's got a thing for broccoli. If it's mushed up and hidden and he doesn't know it's there, he's fine with it. But he will not pick it up like that and eat it. I try every time. Um, his staff rep for it, but no. He will not have it at all. So I'm just giving him his pudding now, the apple and cinnamon crumble. He loves these from Ella's Kitchen. They're on offer at the moment in Tesco's as well. There we are. Nice. Yes. So we're going to grab a bath after tea once he's finished. And then it is bedtime for the little man. And then he will have his bottle. Ben should be home in time for bedtime. And he normally does 
um, the bottle and bed routine if um, he is home in time. So that'll put you to bed if he's home, won't he? Honestly, he's like a gannet. It's like, like you know, like a little baby bird. Um, yes, you. That is basically the end of the video. That's everything Lenny has in one day. Eating me out of house and home. <laughs> so I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And I will catch you all very, very soon.